let us see what are the features of Zoom app. You open the Zoom app. Now, if you see over here, you can see a mute button. If you click on this, your voice will be muted. And if you want to speak something, you have to click again so that others can hear you. Same for the video also. If you click on start video, your video will start. And if you click again, your video will stop. Then we have a security tab. If you click on the security tab, you can see that there are options like lock meeting. If you click on the lock meeting, nobody else will be able to join the meeting further. Then you have enable a waiting room. If somebody wants to join, they will be in the waiting room and you have to grant permission for them to enter into the meeting. The next one is allow participants to. These features are for handling the participants. If you want the participants to share their screen, you can keep this checked. If you want to check this, just click there. Then the participant sharing will be on. If you don't want them to share the screen, keep it off. It is recommended to keep the sharing off. Then we have the chat option. If you want the participants to chat, put in their doubts in the chat is possible. Then there is an option for renaming themselves, then to unmute themselves. If you check this, participants can unmute themselves whenever required. Initially, you can keep them muted, but whenever they require, they can unmute themselves. Then there is an option for removing the participant also. The next one is participant list. If you click the participant list, you can see who all are participating in this meeting. Then Individually, if you click, there are more options. You can chat with them, you can make them post, you can rename them, you can put in them I in waiting room, you can also remove them. Then, if you want to rename yourself, click here and click on more. There's an option called rename. Click there and you can put in whatever name you want. So, it is changed automatically. You can see over here. Then if you come down, there is an option for muting all. To mute all the participants, you just have to click the mute all button. When you click this, all the participants get muted. Now on the top, if you see, this icon is for the full screen. When you press it, it goes to the full screen mode. Now next to that is a speaker view and gallery view. If you want to see only the speaker, just click on it. Then you can see only the speaker's video. Now, if you want to see all the participants, then click on gallery view. So, all the participants who are attending, you can see them in tiles. And towards this end, if you come, if you click this, you will get the meeting information. Your meeting ID, your password and invitation link, all those will be here in this corner. The basic features. Then we have chat option. If you click on the chat option, you can chat with anyone in the meeting there are two options one to chat with everyone and one to chat individually with a single person you can also share files with them by clicking file then we have the share screen option if you want to share any ppts or any word file something you can use this share screen by which you can screen share your window. The next is record option. If you click this record option, the recording of your video along with the background, so it starts recording. Now, if you want to pause it between, click on the pause button and you can resume it later. To stop the recording, just click on the stop and it will be converted and stored in the cloud. Next one is reactions. You can Give the thumbs up reactions and hand clap reactions. 